Earlier, humans were eager to know if there could be any extraterrestrial alien civilization in our solar system. Years later, various scientific discoveries indicated that it's unlikely but not impossible. It was all speculation until we enter the era of advanced science innovations and experiments. And in today's video, we're showing you the terrifying structure discovered by scientists suggesting the existence of advanced aliens in space. So stay tuned until the end of the video and subscribe for more. Here we begin. Let's start with understanding the most mysterious star in our galaxy. There are two constellations in the skylight of the northern hemisphere, hovering above the Milky Way. Cygnus, the swan, her wings outstretched in full light, and Lyra, the harp that accompanied poetry in ancient Greece, from which we get the word lyric. Between these constellations is an unusual star that is invisible to the naked eye, but visible to the Kepler Space Telescope, which has been studied since 2009. Kepler was looking for small dips in the star's light. Indeed, it was looking for these dips in over 150,000 stars simultaneously because they frequently shadows cast by transiting planets. The Kepler Space Telescope gathered a lot of light from all the stars it observed. There was so much light that Kepler's science team couldn't process it. They require the human eye and cognition, which still need to be improved in certain types of pattern recognition. Planet Hunters was founded by Kepler's astronomers who asked citizen scientists to examine light patterns emitted by stars from the comfort of their own homes. Several citizen scientists labeled one star as interesting and bizarre in 2011. The star emitted a strange light pattern, unlike any of the others Kepler was watching. The light pattern suggests that much matter circles the star in a tight formation. If the star were young, this would be expected. However, this unusual star is not young. If it was young, it would be surrounded by dust emitting more infrared light. There does not appear to be an abundance of infrared light. It appears to be mature. Another star could have yanked a sea of comets inward if it had passed through the unusual star system. Likewise, the dimming pattern could have been created by comets if there were enough of them. But if that happened so recently, only a few millennia before humans developed the technology to launch a telescope into space, it would be an extraordinary coincidence. In cosmic terms, that's a small window of time. Meanwhile, another discovery raised a question about 36 alien civilizations in the Milky Way. So is there really intelligent life beyond our solar system in the Milky Way? If this is the case, how many alien civilizations do we have within the galaxy, and how far is the nearest one? According to a new study, there are 36 alien civilizations in the Milky Way, representing a lower limit on what's out there. This is not a true statement. Here's how it works scientifically. For more than a half century, scientists have worked to shift the philosophical question of life beyond Earth into an empirical one. Sure, we can look for life directly until the effort is futile. The productive thing we can do is take a detour. Over the last few decades, advances in astronomy, particularly in exoplanet sciences, have enabled scientists to finally comprehend how frequently a world with conditions similar to Earth may arise. Considering that many of these worlds are false positives, resembling many Neptunes than Earth, or otherwise uninhabitable for various reasons, billions of planets in our Milky Way still have properties similar to Earth right now. However, as we progress into more advanced questions about alien life, our comprehension gives way to ignorance. For example, we are still determining how frequently life will emerge on an Earth-sized world around a Sun-like star in an Earth-like orbit. We don't know how often life emerges and thrives, sustaining for billions of years in an unbroken life tree. We don't know the chances of life evolving into something complex, multicellular, and highly differentiated on worlds where life arises and thrives, something that only happened on Earth in the early stages of the Cambrian explosion. And we're still determining what the chances are that an intelligent, technologically advanced species will emerge in such a world, given the odds that all of these steps will occur. It's ironic then that only a few weeks ago, a very responsible paper was written outlining what one should be able to infer about their life in the universe based on what's happened on Earth. That paper discovered that while life frequently appears in the universe, intelligent life is more likely than not rare. Of course, the confidence levels in those findings are low, but they're the best we have, which is expected given a successful sample size of one, Earth alone. So why is a scientific paper coming out now that draws a radical conclusion using the same data set and similar techniques? So why are we hearing that 36 alien civilizations are likely to exist in our Milky Way right now? Because that new estimate is based on an erroneous assumption made by the authors. 
that if you start with an Earth-sized world at an Earth-like distance around a Sun-like star, you'll have a very good chance of surviving with a technologically advanced civilization after 5 billion years. People now believe that Earth is well hidden from extraterrestrial civilizations looking for habitable planets. An international team of researchers has concluded that Earth is well hidden to alienate observers using photometric microlensing to search for habitable planets that could support life. The findings may also aid in narrowing down the best areas of the galaxy to search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI. Astronomers have several tools when searching for potentially inhabited planets beyond our solar system. However, the transit technique has been the most successful, accounting for approximately 75% of all exoplanet discoveries. This method entails observing the periodic dimming of the star's light as a planet is passed between the star as well as an observer on Earth. The transit method, however, has flaws, the most significant of which is that transits only occur for a small percentage of planets whose orbital planes are almost edge onto Earth. Photometric microlensing is an alternative approach that uses the gravitational lens effect when one star passes in front of another, temporarily magnifying the light from the more distant source star. If a planet orbits a nearby star, the light will be further perturbed, resulting in characteristic spikes in the observed light. Long Distance Technique The microlensing technique has the advantage of working over relatively long distances, while other exoplanet detection methods have typically yielded planets up to 1 kiloparsec, about 3200 light-years away from Earth, most of the 130 exoplanets discovered to date using microlensing are up to 7 times that distance away. As a result, with the Milky Way being around 30 kiloparsecs across, other technological civilizations could use the microlensing method to detect the Earth across galactic distances. Defining the EMZ Iman Karens, an astronomer from the University of Manchester, and his colleagues examined the Earth's photometric microlensing signal as it would appear to other potentially technologically advanced civilizations in their new study. We refer to the regions of the galaxy from which Earth's photometric microlensing signal is easily observable as the microlensing zone of Earth, or EMZ. The researchers explain, adding that the EMZ can be thought of as the microlensing analog of the Earth transit zone, or ETZ from which observers see Earth transit the Sun. Even if technologically advanced alien civilizations were found around every star studied, the team discovered that the total Earth discovery rate across the sky is only 14.7 observers per year, implying that, assuming technological life is relatively rare, it is very doubtful anyone has discovered it. Background Stars Needed Cairns explained that an alien civilization would need to be positioned so that there were various background stars behind us, giving the Earth a chance to deflect the light. When EMZs are defined as areas with the top 1% of discovery rates, optimal detection regions appear in the huge and mini Magellanic clouds as well as in lower galactic latitudes near the galactic center. Also believe that aliens use quantum signals for communication. The researcher said that direction from Earth where alien civilizations would have the best chance of detecting Earth is in the galactic plane towards the Milky Way's Orion Cygnus arm. Overall, it appears that the Earth is too dark to detect photometric microlensing discovery by other discoverers unless they have sensitivity well beyond our current capabilities, the researchers conclude. Clever aliens might use gravitational microlensing to discover candidate planets to search for other civilizations, says Martin Dominic, an astrophysicist at the University of St. Andrews. It appears intriguing that they might not attack Earth transiting ahead of the Sun until they're within a narrow strip closer to the ecliptic plane make it not so great an option for getting to know each other, he adds. So, do you believe their extraterrestrial life exists in our solar system? Comment your thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe for more.